Hey everybody, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice Demond, and I'll help those with severe inflammation naturally beat the swelling, pain, and energy drain so they can live their best life. In today's video, we are gonna do a review on Mountain Valley Spring Water, all right? So if you haven't seen any of these videos before you're brand new, you wanna click that subscribe button, that way you can get access to the tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your overall wellness, all right? now. We're gonna go ahead and get these waters poured. And Mountain Valley Spring Water is one that many people have been requesting. And it makes sense because they seem to be one of the most popular spring waters here in the United States. So we're gonna see how good it is. And we're gonna test it versus our electrolyzed reduced water. All right, that is the scientific name of this water. And if you want to learn more, not only about this possible water here, but how water can change your health in a way that you wouldn't believe, you wanna click the link in the description below because I have a masterclass about all about water and how drinking the right water can actually improve your life. All right, so we're gonna test this water for three specific things. The first one is antioxidants, the second one is alkalinity, and third I like to call superior hydration. So let's jump into that first one, shall we? Antioxidants. Now this is important because everything around us, a lot of the things that we're eating, um, a lot of things that we're breathing in, the air is oxidizing, and when that happens to our cells, it creates inflammation. And oxidation and inflammation is linked to every single health disease known to man. Okay, so if you're experiencing any type of itis, that is a form of inflammation. And so you want to consume antioxidants because they're gonna bring down that oxidation, reduce that inflammation, it's gonna keep you looking young and youthful, all right? Things that are oxidizing are gonna have us rust, age, and create more dis-ease in the body. And the way we're gonna check this is by using an ORP meter. Now, if we see a positive number when we turn this on and put it in the fluid, that means it's oxidizing us. If we see a negative number, that means it's an antioxidant and it's great for us. So let's check out Mountain Valley Spring Water and see what we get. All right. Looks like we are getting a 183. That's, I would say that's pretty low for bottled waters, but it is actually, it's gone up to 200, 210 and it's oxidizing. So it's a positive number, that means it's actually not helping us with the antioxidant side, right? So it's actually not doing us any good. And this is the most important test of the three because we wanna consume something that's not bringing us dis-ease and helping create inflammation in the body, all right? Let's go ahead and check out this other water and see how it does. And this is going the opposite direction. Check that dash. So we're at almost a 790, yeah, 793, right? So this is full of antioxidants. This is extremely strong. And the reason why is because it's filled with one of the strongest antioxidants known to man. All right, if you want to learn more, the video is in the description. Uh, the link is in the description and it'll actually explain more about that, all right? So the first test on antioxidants, this is the oxidant. Okay, so that means it's creating rust, dis-ease, and sickness in the body. And that is our Mountain Valley spring water. Let's go on to test number two, alkalinity. All right, on to that second test, which is on alkalinity. All right, we all know from Dr. Otto Warburg that cancer, sickness, and dis-ease cannot survive in an alkaline environment. Okay, so we want to ensure that our blood stays slightly alkaline and our body stays alkaline as well, um, as much as possible, just to prevent that sickness and disease from occurring in the body, okay? And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use these pH drops to see the pH of these waters. If we see a red or orange or yellow, that means it is acidic and it's actually leaching the minerals from our body. However, if we see a blue or purple or dark purple, that means it's alkaline and it's actually fighting off the acidity that's happening in our body. So, let's put a few drops in and see what we get. All 
All right, so looking at these, it looks like we have an eight for our Mountain Valley spring water and a 9.5 for our electrolyzed reduced water, which is pretty nice. I like that this is actually uh, slightly alkaline. It's an eight for Mountain Valley. And we want to ensure that we're, the stronger the antioxidants that we're consuming, the more acidity is gonna be able to battle back, okay? So I'm not doubting this at all, but I just wanna test it against the acidity of my breath to see how much of it it can stand and then what color it actually changes once I finish blowing through it, all right? So let's check it out. All right, so we blew into this one, put some acidity into it, and we ended up kind of turning it neutral for the most part. Um, it still has a little bit of that blue, which is awesome because it's real spring water, okay? So that means it actually is naturally created and it can actually battle back a lot of the city, which is good. Most of your um, spring waters, either they're in, not in a glass bottle, but they're in a plastic bottle and that leaches minerals and it messes with the alkalinity, um, or it's just not coming from a real good spring. Okay, so this one actually meets that criteria, fits well, but after the acidity, you can see that it kinda, eh, it's kinda turning back blue, but for the most part, it kinda goes down. So this one here is a dark purple, it's about a 9.5, and it's gonna handle more acidity um, with the little bit that's there. So let me go ahead and try it with this one real quick. So, this one doesn't change. Um, this one did change a little bit, but um, overall, as far as acidity and pH goes, this one's clearly better, but this is actually pretty good when it comes to bottled waters, all right? Um, let's go ahead and take a look at that third and final test, which is superior hydration. All right, onto that third and final test, which I like to call superior hydration, all right? And for this test, what we end up doing <clears throat> is actually using a tea bag. And you're probably thinking, what does that have to do with hydration? Well, the tea bag is dehydrated <laughs> and we're gonna try to make tea. And I know what you're probably thinking. You're like, well, Prentice, we have to boil the water. We have to make the water hot in order to make tea, right? And that is a way to make tea. And the reason why it works though is because the water is actually small enough as a smaller surface tension um, to actually be able to pull out the nutrients from the tea bag. And so we want to see if our water is actually going to hydrate us at a cellular level. Because when it does, and you're actually drinking it, it doesn't just sit in your stomach, okay? It actually absorbs into the body, pushes out the waste from the oxidation, and gives nutrients to your cells so they can continue providing you energy um, and being healthy, all right? So let's see what happens with nature or the sorry the mountain valley and this is what i'm talking about like we get bloated and we just don't aren't able to make tea and you're thinking apprentice you're crazy but let me see if i can give this a few bounces see if we can get something out of this Here's the thing though, we shouldn't have to jump up and down in order to get hydrated, right? Should happen instantly. So we are getting some tea, but it's nowhere, it's, it doesn't seem like the, a lot, all right? Trying to get this wet, trying to get this going. And yeah, I would say that's about as much as you're gonna get. Let's go ahead and try the electrolyzed reduced water. See what we get. All right, and as you see, it makes tea and it's darker than this tea here and it's done instantly. You're probably thinking, all right, Laprentis, you cheated. The bag was wet, so let's go ahead and try it one more time. Let me grab this. And let's see, maybe it'll come out a little bit darker this time. 
try to give it some more, but it doesn't seem to do it. Yep, we we're able to get some green, but it's nowhere near as dark as this one here, right? And the reason why, once again, is because we're not, some of the water is too big here. Not all of it is the same. And so we're not able to get the same effect as this right here. So let me try this one more time. And there we go. We got tea. <laughs> and it's darker, it's stronger than these ones here. And so with the right water, you can actually have something stronger, okay? So think about this, if you're taking vitamins or supplements or anything like that, if you're cooking and you're using ingredients, you want the water to actually take that nutrients that you're trying to carry into your body and bring it to you at a cellular level, okay? You don't want it to just all sit in your stomach. So that's the purpose of this test. And while it does do a little bit, I don't think it does enough, in my opinion, it may be like 10% or so. Um, but overall, these are the results for this one. All right, so just to recap, we tested uh, Mountain Valley spring water for three specific things. The first one was antioxidant, so we saw that this is oxidizing, okay? So in my opinion, this is the most important test, and the only thing that really matters because if we're drinking things that are making us sicker, that's making us age quicker, that's actually bringing sickness and dis-ease into our body, then like, why are we doing that? It doesn't make any sense, okay? Um, the second thing we tested for was alkalinity, pH, and the pH here was actually good for spring water. It was an eight. When we um, actually give it a little bit of acidity, it drops down to almost a seven. Um, so it is slightly alkaline, which is, which is not bad, okay? And then the third one, which is superior hydration, and we weren't really able to get it to hydrate at the same level as this electrolyzed reduced water, all right? So, there's the test, there you have it, Mountain Valley spring water. Um, and, and once again, if you're serious about your health and you want to remove that inflammation that you may be having, wherever it's located, you want to check out this masterclass. Click the link in the description below this video. Check out that masterclass and I'll see you on the other side, all right? Thanks for watching this and I will see you in the next video.